Hello, hello, my name is Robert, and this is a quick guide how to set up the X-Story. I would like to apologize for my bad English, but um, as long as you can understand what I'm saying, I think we're good to go. Let's get going. Of course, you need to first uh, buy the X-Story or download it somewhere. You can get it at xcode.com for price. Uh, <laughs> and you can download a trial if you want to. You can, of course, also, you know, download it from other sites you know what i'm talking about um then you go and download this codec ut video codec links will be in the description and um, you go ahead and download it and install it very very easy then you go to the x story first thing you want to do when you open the program up first time you want to click on the folder and then you want to click on the add folder this is where you you add the folder that the story will save your recorded gameplay. So the most important part here is to choose a hard drive that is not the hard drive you rec um, you are reading the game files from. So the hard drive don't do two things at once. So it don't um, read and write at the same time because you will get performance issues. So I would choose another drive to record on. You just click on the plus go to your computer, whatever drives you have. I have three drives here. And you click on the one you want to use. And when there is a little checked in the box, you, you're good to go, it will put it there. Then you go to the keyboard. Here you have, um, you can customize which keys are like the capturing key and whatever. You just put it where, whatever you like. Then you go to the camera. And here comes the important part. You click here and then you choose your codec and you can see I have a long list and that's because I've been messing around the codecs because it's, oh my god, so many options. <laughs> yeah, the, the default one is the DX, uh, DX Story video codec. Uh, it's pretty good, but the uh, UT codec is better, I would say, so at least. Well, you choose this one and then you click on it. Then you click on the pin and here uh, I believe when it when first time you install it, it will look like this. Um, it's important that you click this one, so it uh, use all your threads in your CPU, so you get better uh, performance, better FPS in game. So you click that one, and then you say optimize for decoding speed, so it will decode the file faster. Um, you know the file size will be bigger. But you will get less uh, performance. Uh, you will get more performance in game. Okay, then I've put it at uh, 30 FPS because you know YouTube can only take 30, so I guess that is obvious. Oh, unless you want to do some really crazy slow motion and something, uh, it's a good idea to record at 60 because then you can, uh, when you're in Vegas or whatever, you have more frames, so you can make more fluent. Fluid, slow motion, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Yes, then you go to your sound audio. Um, then you choose which speakers you have on, like your sound card, really. Uh, so you get the in-game sound and your friends on Skype, whatever. Uh, don't mess with this, this will be good. <laughs> uh, then you click on the plus, and then you get one more. And this is where the story is unique. Then you can add your microphone, for example. And this is my microphone, and you can control the volume here. And this is a cool part, because when you have your final video file, uh, it would look like this in, for example, Vegas, or any other program. You will have two separate audio tracks here. You, I have my game audio and my friends on Skype, and I got my own audio, you know? So you can mess around with that and you can remove yourself, make yourself louder. It just gives you more freedom when you're, when you're like editing. Yeah. Okay. Then you have this slot. This is screenshots and whatever. Not that important when you just want to record gameplay. Here it's important that you set this processing threads to the maximum you can. So uh, the program use your CPU probably. Also, if you have a lot of use on your CPU, you know, really good CPU you can put this one also on for CPU processing so it will just take some of the pressure of your GPU 
uh, over on the CPU, so you get probably more frames, but you can play around with that one. And that's basically it, then you're good to go. I hope this <laughs> won't help and you could understand what I'm saying. Bye-bye. Uh,